So let's get you the very latest that's coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. Remember, it's the big result day tomorrow. And even as everyone's waiting for the results, it's going to be a long night. But ahead of the declaration of these results, there is a lot of hectic activity already in both the BJP and the opposition camps. With most of the exit polls predicting a hung house, calculations are being done, parties are preparing for different kind of scenarios. Let's talk about the PDP first. The PDP's Zureb Bir has hinted at offering support to the secular front on Saturday when the exit poll predictions came out. But now he says that he did not name any particular party. He's also qualified his remarks by saying that he meant that the PDP will back secular parties that fit into its ideology. Then you have another PDP leader, Iqbal Trambu, who is, however, asserting that the PDP is a part of the India bloc ideologically. Amidst growing speculations, the PDP chief, Mehbooba Mufti's daughter, Iltija, has also taken to the social media earlier to share the party's official stand. And she says that senior leaders of the party will take a call on supporting a secular front only once the results are declared. For quite some time, we have maintained this line that we will do everything possible to keep the BJP out. That was our commitment to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Who said that national conference is secular? And who said that national conference is going to formulate the government with the secular forces? We have doubts about it, our doubts about it. So that's why we maintain we don't, we, we are not naming any particular party. Wherever, if there are parties which can come together on the secular agenda which fits the PDP, then we'll support it. And amidst hints of support from some of the PDP leaders, the NC chief Farooq Abdullah has welcomed this. He congratulated Mehbooba Mufti and her party. But then you also had the NC vice president, Omar Abdullah, who strikes a slightly more cautious note. He says these are all speculations around the alliance with the PDP, and this is all premature, he says. The Congress, on the other hand, appears to be keeping the doors open. Sources in the Congress camp say that they are ready to form a post-poll alliance with the PDP. Very grateful to Mrs. Mufti for having taken that decision. It is in the best interest of this state that we all right-thinking parties join together to move this state forward and get it out of the tragedies of last 10 years. There is no other way. We want this state to be the same height that it had. The other player, ladies and gentlemen, is the BJP that is also holding deliberations on the post-poll strategy. You also have a meeting that was held at the BJP's office earlier in Jammu, in which you had senior leaders like Ram Madhav, Ravinder Raina, who all participated. This meeting was aimed at formulating party's future course of action. The BJP has been maintaining that it will garner at least 35 seats, particularly it's hoping a lot from the Jammu region, and it believes that it will be able to form a government with support from independents and like-minded parties. The BJP also gunned for both the PDP and the Congress, saying that it's these parties that are scrambling for support because they have already accepted defeat. They are just pleading for their opponent to join their camp. This shows they are having the fierce psychosis in their mind of defeat. Literally speaking, they have accepted that people have rejected them. That's why they are just trying to, to please some of the opponent political parties. Whatever they do, at the end, there will be BJP and BJP colleagues. They will form the government. We will win and we will form the government. Ye lokon hai. Farooq Abdullah, Bharat Birodhi, Pakistan Samarthak, Mahbuba Mufti, Bharat Birodhi, Pakistan Samarthak, Pathar Bajonki, or Rahul Gandhi, in Donoke Samarthak, in Mehimmat Nahi Huiki, Tinso Satar Dhara, Yani Unki Sarkar Aigi, Yetinso Satar Dhara Hatang, Rahul Gandhi Ki Chuppi, Unka Samarthan, Same Kalto Sapka Ajaiga, Lekin Mahbuba Mufti or Faruk Abdullah, Apni Rag Bajayan. 
We also have Akanksha joining us live and she's been tracking that big story for us. You know, Akanksha, it's going to be a long night for all the leaders, whether from the Jammu or the Valley region. But what is the sense that you've picked up as you've covered this entire story and a lot of conversation about those five nominated members by the LG? Uh, well, that's right. And after the exit polls, uh, Deepthi, uh, hectic parlays are underway. As you also pointed out, BJP, uh, there was a uh, internal meeting in BJP as well. As far as PDP is concerned, many of their leaders initially said that they are ready to come uh, in uh, NC Congress uh, alliance. And first reaction, in fact, came from Farooq Abdullah, who said that he would wholeheartedly welcome if PDP wants to come in their poll. But later, it was clarified by his uh, uh, son itself. He said that this is, in fact, a premature speculation. Iltaja Mufti, who is the daughter of uh, Mehbooba Mufti, also said that these are unnecessary speculations. So this is as far as the uh, possible alliance of PDP with NC and Congress is concerned. It'll, uh, the picture will only be clear after 24 hours once results are out because PDP has said that they will only uh, reveal their cards uh, once the results are, uh, are out. They will tell their official stand. Now, as far as the five nominated members are concerned now, the uh, the uh, PDP National Conference and the Congress Party are, hmm. uh, in fact, raising concern over this. And this will be, in fact, a point of contention in the coming days. Uh, and that remains to be seen what happens. But it is definitely going to be a hectic night for uh, BJP, uh, PDP, NC, as well as uh, Congress, because after the uh, exit polls, there are uh, uh, meetings after meetings which are being held. Uh, uh, as far as BJP is concerned, they are saying that they want 35 seats here, mm -hmm. and then they will, uh, in fact, reach out to the independents, uh, like-minded parties as well, and will form a government here and they also claim that theirs will be the single uh, largest party in Jammu uh, and Kashmir. So this is a claim that is coming from the Bharatiya mm. Janta Party and Jammu region okay. will be very important because this is considered to be a stronghold of the Bharatiya Janta yes. Party. So a lot of focus will be here. It is also important how Congress uh, performs here because okay. uh, before 2014 they had a stronghold here but they lost that political ground uh, 10 years back. So will they able to uh, be able to retain it is mm. something we'll know in 24 hours. Will there be an alliance uh, between yes. NCP and Congress? Yes, Akansha, less than 24 hours. We'll know in 24 yes, hours. less than 24 hours. Time's now your one-stop destination where we'll be putting out the numbers, you know, decoding what it means, and also the biggest newsmakers, Akansha, only for the moment. Thank you so much for getting us the latest on that.